Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this horizontal movement on scrolling effect to image carousel without the use of any line or CSS code. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. Okay, so in our Elemental Editing screen, I've already taken the time to create a structure here where we're going to add our image carousel and the effect. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to run you through some minor settings which I've already done. So now for the parent container, we're just going to come over here. You can see that we have the content set width set to full width. And then for the minimal height set to 100 VH. And then for the item direction is set to column vertical, which allows us to add two inner containers here. Okay, now for this first container, this is where we have these details here, which you can customize it to whatever details you want for yours. And then for the second container, which is where we're going to add our image carousel. Now you can see we set the content with the full width and then um, the width set it to 100%. Now for the item direction, we're also going to set it to column vertical. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now we're going to come over here and click on this plus icon and we're going to search for the carousel. And we're going to drag the image carousel and drop it here. Now for the image carousel, what we're going to do here is we're going to select some images from our gallery. Okay, now let's select these images here, six of them, and then let's insert it. Okay, now for the image resolution, we're going to come over here and set it to custom. Now we're going to set for the width, we're going to set it to 600. And then for the height, we're going to set it to 400. So that we have all our images at equal height and width. Okay, so we're now going to apply it. Okay, now we're going to come over to the slideshow. We're going to set it to 6. And then for the slides to scroll, we're going to set it to 5. Now we're going to come over here for the image stretch. We're going to set it to yes. And then for the navigation, we're going to set it to not because we won't be needing any navigation now for the link we're going to come over here and set it to media file and the light box option we're going to come over here and set it to yes now what this light box does is in a situation where your visitor should click on an image it shows them the larger size of the image and allows for them to scroll like so okay so now let's come back here let's come back here and let's continue editing our carousel all right so now still on the carousel we're going to come over to the additional option this time around we're going to come over here to the um, lazy load we're going to toggle this to yes and then for the auto play we're going to set it to no and for the infinite loop we're going to set it to no as well for the direction we're going to leave it at left all right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to head over to the style option now for the spacing we're going to come over here set it to custom and then leave it at 20 pixel now we're going to come over to the border type set it to solid and then we're going to skip the border two pixel all around and then for the border color we're going to set it to white and then for the bottom radius, we're going to set it to 10 pixels all around. So we now have something that looks like this at all equal heights and width. Okay, so this looks great. So the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come over here and let's duplicate this. Okay. So now that we've duplicated it, the second, for the second carousel, we're going to come over to the second carousel. And we're going to come over to the slides to show. We're going to set it to 5. And then for the slides to scroll, we're going to set it to 4. Okay, all right. Now this is what we have here. You can see now we have this with the first carousel. Uh, with the first image carousel looks a little bigger than the second one, but all images are the same width and the same height. Okay, so now you can see if you scroll, nothing happens. So we're gonna add our scrolling effect now. So to do so, we're just gonna come over here. Now for the first carousel, we're gonna come over here, go to the advanced settings, and there we're just gonna toggle this and let's come over to the motion effect and let's. Set the scrolling effect, toggle it to on. Now for the horizontal scroll, we're going to come over here. Direction, we're going to set it to the left. Leave it at default to the left. And then for the speed, we're going to reduce the speed to true. For the viewport, we're going to leave it the way it is. Okay, now we're going to come over to the scale. And then we're going to, for the direction, leave it at scale up. For the speed, we're going to set it to 1. And then for the viewport, we're going to set it to the bottom 0% and to the top 100%. Okay, so then that we've done that. The next thing we're going to do is... Uh, for the anchor point, we're going to come over here and set it to the left. And then does the X anchor point to the left and the bottom anchor point to the uh, For the Y anchor point, we're going to set it to the bottom. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's come over here. Let's see our scrolling effect. You can see we now have this wonderful scrolling effect. But we can see that there is a gap here. Okay, now to fix this gap, it's going to cost us, um, we're going to make our work look a little bit ugly. So we need to fix this gap. Okay, so to do so, we're just going to come over here still on this uh, image carousel. We're going to head over to the layout. Now for the margin, we're going to unlink this. And then for the left, we're going to set it to minus 85 pixel. And then to the right, we're going to set it to minus 85 pixel as well. 
So we now have it looking this way. So I will scroll, we have everything looking great and no more gap. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our effect to the second carousel. So to do so, we just come over to the second carousel, head to the advanced settings, and then we'll go to the motion effect. Now we're gonna turn on, we're gonna turn on the scrolling effect. Okay, and then for the horizontal scroll, we're gonna come over here, and then we're gonna set the direction to the right. And then for the speed, we're gonna set the speed to two. For the viewport, we're gonna leave it the way it is. Okay, now let's go over to the scale. Now for the skill, we're going to come over here, still leave the direction to scale up. And this time for the speed, we're going to set the speed to 1. For the viewport, the bottom 0% and then to the top 100%. Now we're going to come over here for the X anchor point, we're going to set it to the right. And then for the Y anchor point, we're going to set it to the top. Okay, so now we've added this effect. And also we can see here that we now have this space here. So to fix this space here, we're just going to come over here. And let's go to the layout. Just like we did for the first carousel, this time around, we're going to come over here. For the left, we're going to set it to minus 100 pixel. And then for the right, we're going to set it to minus 100 pixel as well. So now we'll come over here. We can see that there is no more space. Okay. So now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is we just, before we proceed, we're just going to come over here and change the images at the, of the second image carousel to something different. So we have different images on both carousels. Okay. So let's just delete this and let's add to gallery. So now let's select this image here and let's just add it to gallery. Okay. Okay. So now that we've added, we've changed the images and we now have this looking great. So you can see our effect is showing well, but we notice that there is an overflow on our website. So I would have done this without explaining, but someone once commented in one of my videos that whenever I am setting the overflow, I should try to state the reason why I'm setting the overflow. So this is the reason why I'm setting the overflow on our container. So you can see this is the overflow I'm talking about. So to fix this overflow, we're just going to come over here and then let's go to the parent container, which is this container here. And then let's come over under the layout. We're going to come over to the additional options and then for the overflow, we're going to set it to hidden. So we've Getting rid, gotten rid of the overflow. So now when we scroll, we can see our effect looking okay, just great. Okay. So you can see now that this effect creates the illusion whereby when you scroll, the images get bigger and at the same time are moving that parallax effect. Okay. So we've been able to achieve this wonderful effect without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. Okay. So. And when you click on this image, you can see we have this light box effect as well. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to check for responsiveness of our design. Okay. So to do so, we're just going to come over here and then let's come over to the responsive mode and let's check it for tablet. Okay. Now for tablet, we can see what we have here. This is just a minor issue. So to fix it for the first carousel, we're just going to come over here and then we're going to go to the content. Now we're going to come over here for the slides to show, we're going to set it to six. And then for the slides to scroll, we're going to set it to five as well. Okay. Now let's come over to the second carousel. Now for the second carousel, we're going to just do the same slides to show. We're going to set it to five and slides to scroll. We're going to set it to four as well. So we can see our effect is our retaking effect here and it looks great on tablet as well. Okay, now let's go to the mobile. Okay, so the same thing, no much work to be done. For the first carousel, we're just going to come over here. For the slides to show, we're going to set it to 5. And then for the slides to scroll, we're going to set it to 4. Okay, so now let's come over to the second image carousel. Now for the slides to show, we're going to set it to 4. And then for the slides to scroll, we're going to set it to 3. Okay. All right, so we can see we've added our effect here as well. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, let's just update this. All right, and then let's click on preview. And let's scroll down. Now we can see our effect looking great. All right, so we've come to the end of this tutorial.
If you've learned something new, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.